Hi everyone. If you remember, uh, a few weeks ago, I did a range test on 433 MHz modules, uh, cheap eBay ones. And um, the test was a success, and I measured, um, I can't remember exactly, but was it about 30 metres, 35, 40 metres, something like that. Um, and it worked well. But one or two years saying, why don't we try and get the maximum range possible? Um, why don't we increase the voltage to 12 volts? So that's what this video is about. So what we need to do to start with is check that we can actually provide 12 volts and that the transmitter and receiver is going to be able to cope with that. So if we look at the, uh, the receiver, you can see it's got an IC on there and it says LM358. There don't appear to be any other components on there that may be particularly sensitive to voltages. So there's just that one, LM358. LM358, I'll just push this back in here. LM358, there's nothing on the other one, on the transmitter. The Arduino must stay at 5 volts. So the regulator, I may have to do something with the regulator because we're going to have to regulate 12 volts down to 5 volts, which that could be a problem. Uh, regulators are very wasteful, so it's only a test. I don't mind wasting a little bit of power. Because, of course, to regulate 12 volts down to 5 volts, these just burn off the excessive heat, which is very wasteful, but whatever. Um, so, and of course, we're going to need to upgrade the battery pack. Okay, so the first thing I'll need to do is to test that little IC, and also we need to test this uh, little uh, regulator too. So, this says 78M05. So I'll need to check those two components to start with. So I'll just pop over to my PC and uh, see what we can find. Right, so this is the, uh, the spec sheet for the LM358. So what we need to make sure is, um, can we, or can it cope with 12 volts? So let's have a quick look. Wide power supply range, single supply, 3 volts to 32 volts. What exactly is this anyway? Dual op amp. So operational amplifier. Okay. Um, so it can. It can cope with that. So no problems there. Um, right. Okay. No problems there. There is another potential issue. Uh, what happens from the amplifier to the Arduino? We'll need to check that out as well. Check that pin. Anyway, let's move over to the voltage regulator now. So this is the L78M05, and it says output voltages are 5 volts, blah, blah, blah. We need to go down. Maximum ratings. DC input voltage range for voltage out 5 volts, 35 volts input. So... That's the absolute maximum. Now, usually there's a recommended, but that's quite a high maximum. So 35 volts, I'm pretty sure will be okay. Although, like I said, it's going to be extremely wasteful. Yeah, it will be okay there. So I won't need to replace that. I'll just leave the regulator in place. So the receiver here is going to get um, data from the Arduino from this pin. So I don't think I'm too worried about that one. But the pin here going from the uh, receiver to the Arduino, I don't know quite how that's going to react. I mean, is that going to output now a higher voltage than 5 volts? Uh, I don't know. What I'll probably do is I'll probably put the oscilloscope on it and, and find out. So what I need to do now is improve the battery packs and... Um, and then change the wiring here. So to start with, I'll improve the battery packs. I'll just get my multimeter. Let's see what voltage we've currently got. So we currently have 7.5 volts. Okay. Hopefully this one will be the same or similar. 7.5 volts. Yeah, about the same. So 7.5. So I'll add 
these into it. I think I'll use these, these little clips that I got. Right, let's just check the voltage again and the voltage is 12 volts and 11.96 12 volts so we are using 12 volts let's just give it a final check so the batteries are okay we've got 12 volts there they go through here then they go to the voltage regulator which might get a little bit warm because it's regulating down from 12 volts to 5 volts for the Arduino. Okay, so far so good. I've put the new battery in, or the new cells in, and wired them up correctly. Everything's fine. You can see that the two LEDs are still blinking, but um, it's still a 5 volt system. And that's because the uh, transmitter and receiver are still being fed by the 5 volt line. So. I'll now change this to the 12 volt line and we'll see what happens. So I'll put the 12 volt in there. Technically I don't have to move the ground but I will do it anyway. And the same here, uh, ground, straight to ground and 5 volts to 12 volts and what happens is that it's not working um, yeah this one the transmitter is blinking but then it would because it doesn't actually know if it's been transmitted or not and the receivers doing nothing so I'll just put that back the way it was um, so that's back to 5 volts and that's back to ground and this one back to ground and this one back to 5 volts ah now it's receiving again okay so that's strange, so both on 12 volts it doesn't work um, the transmitter doesn't seem to transmit and the receiver doesn't receive um, so let's try something else let's try having a more powerful transmitter only so we'll put the transmitter VCC to 12 volts and the 5 volt receiver is still not working so okay back to 5 volts and it works again so let's change the VCC of the receiver let's change that to 12 volts yeah it yeah that receives although it doesn't seem to be receiving everything but it is receiving so for whatever reason um, I can't make my transmitter a 12 volt transmitter but I can make the receiver a 12 volt, a 12 volt receiver um, looking online some people are suggesting that I add a capacitor on here so this is a 0 0.1 um, microfarad capacitor and I don't really see what that's going to do but okay um, so I've added that I suppose I should just try one more time try and make it 12 volt This is quite an odd situation, so um, if I just put this back to 12 volts, you can see that it doesn't receive anymore. So if I just take out this transmitter and replace it with this one, let's see if this one works. Because I find it quite odd that it doesn't work with 12 volts. So let's see. I've been outside and had a mess about and I still couldn't get it to work. So I thought, okay, the receiver can be 12 volts but the transmitter can't be. But then I, th I thought of something and I thought, well, why not I test this? So I thought, well, the modules are gonna, probably going to be put into storage anyway because I can't use them. So I'll get the antenna and just stretch it right up. And then it seemed to work. So, um, so I've now got a 12 volt transmitter and a 12 volt receiver 
with the antenna antennae stretched up like this. I'll just zoom so you can see. So it looks a bit ridiculous, but um, all of a sudden, now I've stretched those things, they're both blinking. So I think it's time to do another test outside and see what happens. So I'm outside now and there's something weird going on here. So I've got them both on 12 volts and if I move the transmitter just that far away the receiver doesn't receive anymore. So distance, maximum distance it can go in this mode is there which is about 20 centimeters away which is pathetic. However, if I change it from if I change this from 12 volts to 5 volts, so the receiver is now 5 volts, I can go a bit further, and now I can go to there, oh no, there, which is about 30 centimetres, which is still pathetic really. Now I'll change this one to 5 volts, and oh, now that's blinking, how far can I go now? Still receiving. Still receiving. So that's a meter and it's still receiving. So now I think what I'll do is I'll put this on a high place and do the test again that I did last week. Okay, so the transmitter's on top of this ledge now, which is on top of the door. It's about two and a half meters high. The receiver's a few meters away at the moment and it's still working. So now I'll walk off and test the distance. Okay, I'm now around about 50 meters away and it's still receiving good signal. If I go further it just doesn't receive. Unless I hold the top of the antenna which is a bit weird. So 50 meters. So I'm back in here now and um, yeah how did it go? Well um, the 12 volt idea didn't work. Um, with 12 volt power supply for the um, transmitter and receiver the range was actually less. A lot less. Um, going back to 5 volts um, it was okay and of course with this little uh, idea here of making these antennae longer I did seem to get a little bit more uh, range so I think I could get about 50 meters and uh, I, work, I walked further than that, I walked to about 80 meters and I could actually get a good signal there too but uh, in order to get that seg signal for some reason I had to hold the antenna here, I had to hold it and uh, and then it would work and that was from about 80 meters um, but that's a bit odd because I mean what about this one I mean if you hold the transmitter aerial maybe you get 160 I don't know but I, you can't really be holding the uh, the aerial so without holding the aerial I got about 50 so I don't know maybe maybe I'm missing something if I am uh, let me know and um, I'll try it again but there you go there are results so far Thanks for watching. Bye.